Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new documentary, Beanie Mania, and this focuses on the craze in the 1990s of Beanie Babies, and as a child who grew up in the 90s, I definitely had my share of Beanie Babies. You wanted the Red Bull, you wanted the Purple Platypus, and all the different Beanie Babies out there, and... It was such a big thing. Everybody had Beanie Babies. And obviously as a kid, I didn't realize the grander scope of things, but looking at this documentary, it's very informative and paints a very intriguing picture of what this ba uh, Beanie Baby phase really was like. And HBO Max has, has quite the string of, between HBO Max and HBO, have such a string of all these documentaries that are coming out, whether they're music related or interesting special interests like this and Yamisi Brooks who directed this film really focuses on kind of the humor and the craziness of it all. You have T.Y. this mysterious enigmatic creator that people describe as like Willy Wonka and who you never actually see in this documentary and they even allude to that and ask like why didn't he why wouldn't he agree to get interviews like he just doesn't like interviews and this man was funneling cash overseas and all kinds of stuff like that and made so much money off of these little toys that he only sold at like gift shops and stuff like that wouldn't go to Toys R Us wouldn't go to Walmart and didn't put any advertising out because then came the Beanie Moms these mothers who made a whole entire secondary market for Beanie Babies, and this whole entire film is the kind of thing where it's like these moms are trying to collect them all, Pokemon, um, and are trying to collect all these Beanie Babies, and then they start selling for hundreds, thousands of dollars on secondary markets, trying to get them all, and the craziness and the ridiculousness of the committed nature of these moms and like making magazines after it and racking up thousands of dollars in phone bills trying to call across the country to find these specific Beanie Babies not in their states and this documentary really takes the fun and ridiculousness and a less serious note with it despite the fact that like it talks about some criminal connections like some of these people got armed guards because people were stealing these Beanie Babies from them they had a whole entire the, there's a cheeky moment of like the police found all these Beanie Babies and like they expected to find like hard drugs and all kinds of stuff like that. It's like no, just crates of counterfeit Beanie Babies. And it's such, it feels like a lampoon of crime docs, true crime documentaries, but like it is kind of a true crime documentary, it's just a lot lighter in tone and more fun with it. And you hear, like, you see the financial side of this, the whole secondary markets and speculations and all that stuff, and it's just like, this is outworldly, like, insane that this whole situation happened. I appreciate the tongue-in-cheek nature of the film because it never takes itself too seriously and realizes the ridiculousness of it all. And overall, it's very light. It's a solid documentary. This is an earth-shattering documentary, and especially if you're into Beanie Babies, or even just, like, curious about this craze that had happened. It's such a crazy story, and this documentary takes a very both straightforward approach to it, painting out the narrative, but also kind of like a bit of a, I don't know if manipulative is the right word, but it's like, it's really playing on you to build up the tension and the shock value of all this ridiculousness going on, and it's thoroughly entertaining. This is a thoroughly entertaining hour and 22 minutes. Definitely check out Beanie Mania, it's streaming right now on HBO Max. But those are my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.